Just a real quick introduction, or pre-introduction before the introduction, my camera cut off multiple times during this filming. I missed the pour altogether, which is a shame because it was really satisfying pour, but it is what it is, nothing I can do. So anyway, there's just, basically, if it, when I'm mixing it up, basically when I'm texturing the end, and then we'll get to the pour. So let's go ahead now and get started with what I was able to salvage of the video. I'll probably just put some music to it. Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to make some soap. So today's inspiration came from a lady at church and the blouse that she was wearing. And I've seen her wear it several times and always thought that would be a good soap. And so I told her this past week that her blouse was the inspiration of this week's soap. So the blouse is basically black with two accent colors. I'll be using, obviously, my activated charcoal from Nurture Soap for the black, and then it has a purple and a green accents in it, so it's a fairly light green, so the closest I think I can come is Nurture Soap's Sea Green, which to me looks pretty close. And then it's a purple, but it's not a real dark purple, so I'm gonna use Nurture Soap's Iris Purple, but I'm also going to put just a little bit of Mad Micah's Grape Ape, which is a neon in it, to darken it just a little bit. Uh, so pretty simple. And then it, they are wispy and whisked throughout the black and the blouse, so I am going to put a hanger tool in it. I'll drop swirl those in and put a hanger tool with it. For the fragrance, I'm using Bramble Berry's Heavenly Honeysuckle, which smells wonderful. Uh, holds up great in cold process. It accelerates just a little tiny bit, which I think actually will be to my benefit. So I'm kind of glad it accelerates just a little bit. And I do believe that's enough talk, so give me just a minute to get set up and I'll be right back. All right, I have everything mixed up. These are our two accents. This is the base, so lightest to darkest. Let's start with our seafoam green. And I think that a half a teaspoon for this is more than enough. But we'll stir it in by hand and see. And yes, it is. And that looks, that's pretty much the color I was hoping for. So very nice, very happy with that, just like it is. So next will be our purple. So I will put just the same amount, maybe just a little bit less, because I'm going to put a little bit of neon into it. Just slightly under a half. And let's stir that in by hand first and see what it looks like. It looks good, but I do want just a little bit of the neon with that.
Okay, it's time to cut our soap. I'm really sorry you all missed the pour on this one because it was a very satisfying pour to watch. I think I'm going to have some really nice results inside. But, you know, it happens. And I changed some settings on the camera. And hopefully that won't happen again. Because it's really bad to shut off if it thinks that there's no activity. Let's see, is that the way I want to cut it? Or is this the way I want to cut it? That's the way. No, it's not. There we go. That's what I wanted. So let's cut a few bars from each log and see what we have. Yeah. And I think the colors are pretty right on the spot of what I had planned, so I got that right. So let's get some from the other log and see what we have. And, as usual, I'll finish these off camera and upload a couple of pictures. But, this is pretty much exactly what I planned. So, I am really happy with these. And, once again, I thank you all for watching. As always, stay safe, take good care of yourselves, and be blessed. And, I'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.